Ludwig Mies van der Rohe was born as Maria Ludwig Michael Mies on March 27, 1886 in Aachen, Germany. He went to Berlin in 1905 at age of 19 to work for a furniture designer, Bruno Paul, and got employed later on in Peter Barron's architecture practice along with Le Corbusier, Walter Gropius, and Adolf Meyer in 1908. He was also the third and the last director of Bauhaus after the dismissal of Hannes Meyer in 1930. He joined the November Group in 1921 and became its president in 1923. While during that time, Miss already had some projects done, either built or un. The common characteristics being used in Miss designs, such as extreme clarity and simplicity, the usage of skin and bones architecture style, types of low swung houses of brick, concrete, and glass. He also expressed the spirit of modern era and it has strong connection between inside and outside. Besides, most of his design also have fluid floor plans. But in this project, Miss emphasized on complete abstraction which consists of flat patterns and colored rectangles in Mondrian's painting. It has its influences on architecture by providing new facade and planning patterns. Mondrian followed the principles of neoplasticism, where Theo van der Berg's painting, Rhythm of a Russian Dance, translates a free-flowing movement of figure into a series of horizontal and vertical lines and zones. Mies' works are not only influenced by the artistic movement, but also to recreate an understanding of the ideas of horizontal and vertical planes. The development of Mies' theoretical problems and ideologies for this project articulate his own version of the new spatial order in which interior and exterior were to be interwoven seamlessly. Mies places the walls giving variation in thickness, material, length, and direction. Mies' understanding of the steel works recreates an architectural experience that translates lines into planes and different spatial readings. The walls not only stand themselves, but also divine spatial perception, boundary, and a center. Parts of the brick house explain a central spatial organization that extends to the exterior landscape. Are the walls of the house divine a more interior experience for private functions of the house? The variation in planes through the use of walls creates enclosure or exposure, centers or boundaries, and private or public spaces. Miss also has extensive knowledge of materials as he uses and makes all these dimensions of the building are based on the materials. By dropping the light on the brick texture, the character of the material becomes more visible, while the structure is made up of columns with walls in between. The walls are not the spaces, but the space is formed by four separate walls and topped by a roof. Miss also introduced the implementation pinway method in this brick country house. Even though it's unbuilt, the Brick Country House was actually quite an inspiration for any other designs of the following years. For example, Wolf House in 1927 and Tugendhat House in 1930. The Wolf House is the Brick Country House project redesigned under the sobering influence of a real client and a real site. The client was Eric Wolf, a wealthy factory owner. The rooms in the Wolf House flow into one another not formally or axially through frame openings but asymmetrically in a step formation. Also, each space shares a wall surface with its neighbor so that it is hard to say where one ends and the other begins. As for the Tugendhat house, Mix extends the idea of creating different spatial readings through variation in planes. The lining of columns create a subtle yet apparently linear extension of the hill's engagement of the landscape. These uses of different architectural elements may have been suggestive of perceptive qualities of the steel paintings, achieved through the different use of colors as well as variation in thickness of the painted lines. 
In the end, we can conclude that the architectural styles that Miss applied in this project are widely being used in his other designs as well as other architects and other designers work by looking at some existing project nowadays. And that's how this modern architect gives impact to today's architecture.